Hi Jack guys, well it's that time again and I've done some more upgrades to my Jack. As you can see this is a controller which I modded in the past which has a stereo sound output and also a hidden rotary controller. But now I've actually upgraded the Jack here some more. On the back you will see the normal DSP, AV and RF ports, the RF1 one which I also modded in the past so it allows switchable composites but above that now is also a full PSP interface so not only does it allow stereo headphones but it allows S video, composite video, RGB and also VGA the RGB and the VGA do lose the sound when connecting them if using a stock cable because it is limited by the lines which actually go to that one and before anyone thinks about doing this themselves to their own console it is a nightmare to do because the S-Video and other cables on a PSP contain electronics and it's not just a standard connector by connecting them to the Jaguar so yeah, it is difficult to do and well you've been warned as you can also see when the cable is connected it is out of the way and fits in there quite snugly it's small and on a plus side I bought this S-Video composite combo cable on eBay for $1.95 with $2 shipping so compared to the Jaguar cables it is very very inexpensive when you turn the Jaguar on you will also see that I replaced the red LED to a nice blue one makes it look a lot prettier on the TV as you can see this is output and on that is on composite so you can see now notice what on my TV the stereo sound is switchable so at the moment it's actually only going to the S video that's why it's not playing the sound on this one but this is composite and in comparison that is S video Tempest you don't really notice the quality much that different uh, on games like Rayman and other things like that you do So you can see it's nice just having one cable, just one tiny cable for everything. Back at my desk we have the same Jaguar, you can see, so on blue light. I did another upgrade, turning it round you will see I added a couple of switches and that's for a very simple reason. At the back, now, right here, is a optical out. So, please excuse the hole. I had to change the, uh, what's it called? The optical out uh, unit. Unfortunately, that's why the hole is a little bit bigger. The other one fits snugly into the case. This one doesn't. So, that's nice for that. This switch allows me to switch between the headphone jack and optical and line out at the back and through the PSP port. I've done this for two reasons. One is I don't want it to draw too much power and damage the sound hardware. So uh, that's one reason. Plus it makes the quality sound a lot better for optical if there's nothing else attached to it when it's playing because the optical connector goes direct uh, into the sound system before the analog to digital converter so the sound is amazing this switch is a power switch for the optical as you can see at the moment it's not on but when I switch it I need to turn the Jaguar on first as you can see now I don't have my surround system anymore I had problems with it so I got rid of it so I'm going to demonstrate it now, but I'm going to have to demonstrate it on my Mac. So just one second while I set it up. Okay, so this is a Jaguar. This is the one long optical cable. And as you can see, this is the optical sensor. You can see if I flip the switch, the power, I'm going to do this at the same time. It goes off to show that it actually is working. I'll turn it back on. I'm going to plug it in. It's my MacBook Pro. 
which thankfully has a optical input built into the microphone. Now I'm going to click on record and as you can see the record badge is going so it shows there is music. There's nothing else on this at all so I'm going to click on record and it should start recording now. So once again this is live. Optical connector going all the way to the back of the Jaguar to optical out. Once again, this is MacBook Pro and the software is called Mixpad. So I'm going to stop it now. Let me turn that off. And when I move this back on and press play, we should get some sound. I guess it's on a demo at the moment, it's not just a title screen. <laughs> but as you can see, this is the first Jaguar which is heavily modified, yet still very, very functional. And well, as you can see, it works perfectly fine. If you would like one, then send me an email, send me a message, and you may be able to persuade me to make you one.